AFTV, um, where did it go wrong today for you? Well, I mean, today I think the transition happened when Harry Kane came on. And so we transitioned to our three backs. We had like Socrates, we had Xhaka and uh, Koscielny in the back. And so they're three international players who've got a lot of experience. And as soon as he came on, the whole mentality changed. So when he came, he picked up the ball in between our midfield line and back line mm. and no one came to challenge him. And so there was no, no message was sent. So, and then Delia came through the back, the back line and finished. That's the thing is like, if no one's going to transition in their mentality and pick him up, like how are we gonna mm. how are we gonna change when it was a big day for him? We're giving him shit as fans, you know, because he's he made a big transition f as an ex Arsenal fan, mm. but they can't feel that the same way that we do, you know. And so what, like, what if, if you're not sending the message to him, then what's it gonna be? With our defence, what is it with us that it's the problem, is it? It's it's the eternal problem at the moment with Arsenal, where we just seem to switch off defensively. I mean, if Harry Kane's coming on, mm. surely. Any defender's got to know, I've got to be on it because this guy's one of the best around at the moment. Yeah, well, well when you think about it, so Koscielny obviously received a big injury before the World Cup, before his whole team went all the way and won the World Cup. But um, I think none of them have got like solid experience, but also it's like they haven't got the same man size that Harry Kane does like, on that kind of a situation. He's playing against his club that he supported. And it's not the same situation for any of them. So they can't think about like, that's the last line that you've got before they can, you can let him through on goal. But surely their professionalism, they, they should you would have think, that. You would think that there is, but until you get into that consistent mentality, like on a mm. consistent basis, it's not the same thing. Do you, and, do you uh, think that Arsenal need to possibly go out in January and, and spend some money on defense? It's been that way for a few years, I think. I mean, initially, it's going to be the back line. And think, think about like the initial caps you've got. They're always a centre back, right? They're someone who can send a message, who can put the body on the line for the team, and who can like back you up, not just like technically. Who we're talking about about, about mm. Arsenal. A leader. We've, all, we've always got technical players. We've always got players who can do some beautiful things, and that's why we still support their team. Like, mm. that's the one consistent thing we've always had. You know what I mean? And so. But to have that mentality, whether it's a Sol Campbell, or whether it's somebody that can like send Tony Adams, that can send him a full message, like leader. Yeah, but we we've been filtering through that too far too consistently for the past two years, and it's mm. fine. Like that's a natural thing for somebody to have, but we haven't had it since. Mm. And I know that he's given Jacka the captain's armband, but he's not, is, is he a centre back? We put him at outside back. He's giving away a thousand horrible places that cost us games. Mm. And then he gets into that position today. And yeah, he, he plays his role, but he doesn't perform in his role mm. in, the, in the sense that Arsenal deserve, you know what I mean? Let, let, me, let me ask you this, um, are you confident that we can bounce back? We've got, oh, uh, yeah. we got some difficult games oh, coming yeah. up. The last time I came to the Emirates, it was 13 years ago. I was 11, right? I was, a, I was an 11-year-old girl, just loving football. And I watched Arsenal draw 1-1 with Middlesbrough. And Cher Henry scored a penalty. Mm. And for me, that was a, a horribly anticlimactic game, you know what I mean? But I've came here with a couple of my friends from Bristol mm. tonight, and that that was the and I've been I watched the Spurs game from America where I live now, and I did a whole knee slide across the whole floor <laughs> against Spurs. You know what I mean? Because I never felt that passion, and even from from Lacazette who did not feel passion when he first came to this club, mm. from Oza who did not feel passion when he came to this club, and they all had like a united energy that I haven't seen in a couple of years in a long time. So I'm I'm not discouraged in this game. Yeah, I've never come to this. I've never come to this stadium and celebrated a real goal, like a true goal, mm. from from f like field play. But as a player, ex-player, and an ex and a coach now, like I know that something's happening here, so I'm not I'm not worried.